Hey, fourth grade, I am going to talk to you guys today about your animal adaptations assignment. So this should be fun. Um, I love talking about animal adaptations and all of the fun things that we have learned over the past week and that you guys will learn a little bit more this week. Um, so what you guys are going to do is first, you're going to watch this video to update you about animal adaptations. We talked about them a little bit last week with our reading, um, but I want you guys to watch this video first and then you're going to complete your assignment. So what you're going to do um, is you're going to pick an animal, any animal that you want, and you are going to identify three different adaptations that this animal has. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little example for you guys and then we can you guys can do your own so i have chose to do the caribou because the caribou is the um animal that you guys read about in our vocab story last week so that caribou has a bunch of different adaptations that um, help it survive so you guys will be in charge of identifying your animal, inserting a picture, and then writing three different adaptations that it has and explaining those adaptations and how they help. So um, if I click here, I'm going to write my animal is a caribou, and then I'm going to write my adaptations. So I opened up our reading story from last week to find those adaptations. So if you look here, um, it's talking about how the caribou live in very, very cold temperatures. So they, one of the things that they have is they have two layers of fur and a thick layer of fat. This is an adaptation that helps it to stay warm. So I'm going to take this sentence and I'm going to put it into my animal adaptations. So I would come back here and I would say the, if it would start typing for me, the, there we go, the caribou have two layers of fat and, oh, a fur, I'm sorry, and a thick layer of fat. That's my first sentence. Oh, I wrote think. Um, and a thick layer of fat. That's my first sentence. You should have two sentences for each of these because the first one is going to be the adaptation. The second one is going to be the next explanation. So then I would write, this helps the animal to stay warm in its cold environment. All right, so that would be my first sentence. Um, I'm going to do two more. So I'm going to have three adaptations total. Then once you have written your three adaptations, you can insert a picture of the animal. So you can either do that by pressing the insert button and going to image and then let's search from the web. So I'm going to type in the word caribou, not Cardi B, caribou. And looks like that is a great picture. It looks exactly like what um, we were shown earlier. So I, if you don't like that one, you could scroll down. But that one is a great one. So I'm going to press insert. And it's going to insert it into my document. See, it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to take those blue um, corners and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. So there is my caribou. So like I said, you're going to have three different adaptations. I only gave you one example here, um, but I think that you guys can do it from that. Uh, so make sure you read the directions. Make sure you are looking up. If you have an animal that you don't know any adaptations about, that's something that you can um, look up on the internet. So you can just type in, say you want to do a tree frog. You can write tree frog adaptations and you should be able to find some research about that animal. Any animal that you guys want is totally fine. If you want to use one that's in the book, that might make it a little bit easier. If you want to use one that's maybe your favorite animal, that is fine too. It's totally up to you guys what you feel comfortable with. So if you guys have any questions, let us know.